Hello and welcome everyone. Today we would like to tell you about protein folding simulations. But before we get to that, there are some basic questions we would like to answer. What are proteins? And what is protein folding? Proteins are biological molecules which are building blocks of life, from simple bacteria to the human body. You might know that they form muscles, but they are required for all the necessary functions like cell repair and maintenance, the energy balance in a cell, or as antibodies for the immune system. Or in short, they're pretty important. How are they formed? Proteins are formed like a pearl necklace. Similar to the pearls on the string, multiple amino acids bind together to form a peptide chain. This chain adopts a specific three-dimensional structure. This process of attaining a 3D shape from a chain is known as protein folding. But what happens if a protein does not assume the 3D structure that it should? What if it misfolds and becomes an entirely different structure altogether? This is one of the reasons why understanding protein folding is such an important topic. In particular, protein misfolding can cause health disorders called proteopathies. Examples would be Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease, but there are other disorders associated with misfolding. Research therefore is conducted on proteins and their foldings under various situations, so as to understand their behavior and avoid their misfolding. How is it done? To complement the fascinating biochemical experiments, computers can be used to simulate their behavior with high resolution. As these simulations are demanding complex calculations, supercomputers like you Queen of the Helmholtz Association are very helpful. Conducting these simulations is very interesting, but also has a learning curve, as you need to acquire different skills. Different online guides are available to walk one through it, so feel free to give it a shot. In addition to highly detailed models, one can make approximations that reduce the computational demand. These models are often called C-alpha models and can be run on your home computer. When running these simulations, physical changes can be made to the environment, such as changing the temperature. So, you might want to try it. It will teach you a lot about biochemistry and computers. Research in protein folding is an important and an active research field. There are many areas to focus on, and each new result brings us closer to finding important answers, both for understanding these fascinating molecules or for new medical applications. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time.